Got it now, yes! Oh yeah! No. Oh! I don't know whether he's got himself wrapped around a stick or this is an absolute monster. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing! These yellow bellies, it! Look at the size of him! I've come out to a little spot today that I've drove over probably a hundred times and I've never actually stopped in here to have a go. So we're going to have a go today and I'm going to warn you right now, we're going to have a lot of trucks going past, cars going past, because I'm going to show you something. Because that there is actually the main highway that runs through there. And we're not very far out of town and I've driven over this spot so many times. And I looked down here the other day and I thought, oh geez, that looks bloody good. I'll give you a look. I've already got two lines in and there's not a lot of activity yet. I've got my net here at the ready. That line's been in for a little while and doesn't seem to be too much pulling on it. But the water looks so good. It's got that real chocolate milk look to it. And we've got this hole here and through that culvert there's another bigger hole that runs up around through there. So we'll head down and check this other line. I've got another line just down in here and it actually looks like something's having a go on this one. There's something definitely having a go at that line there now. And like I said, I've only been here a couple of minutes. So I'll give them a little bit of time to smell the meat. Yeah, 100% we've got something on here now. Which is a good sign. Well, he's only little. He's not a big yabby. I just felt him kick back. He may have even let go. Oh no, he's got hold of it. And that feels like something big has actually got hold of that since I just dropped it. Definitely has. That first fella was a real tiny little one. I must have just dropped it straight on top of him. Oh, that's a good sign. I thought it looked good. And he's a bit of a slimy looking yabby. Got some mud on him. But we'll put him in the bucket for now. This line here hasn't seemed to have done much. We'll just have a check of it. Oh, it has actually done. It's, I threw it out there. It's come back over here. Oh, definitely 100% there's one on that. I was sort of watching this line thinking it wasn't doing anything. Oh, he's only right on the edge there. Got him. May have even got two there, did I? No, I only got the one. Look how he's tangled that bloody line up, would you? He must have come over here and wrapped himself around this stick and tied himself in a big knot. How the hell has he done that? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get rid of this stick. He's only a little mucky looking fella, but we'll put him in the bucket. And this line here seems quiet, but we're going to check it because... Oh no. Oh. I don't know whether he's got himself wrapped around a stick or this is an absolute monster. He must have... Must have had himself wrapped around a stick, I reckon. If that's, if that's just the weight of the yabby, he's a big yabby. He might be a big one. He is. Bloody absolute monster. This place is going off. He's a much nicer yabby, that one. That one there is a much better yabby. We're going to have a look at this fella. I'll show you. Check that one out. That's what we're after. And that line down there is going off again, straight up. So what I've done, I've set myself up a bit better now. I know there's some decent yabbies here. I've got one line there, one line here, and that one's actually got something on it again already. That's the one we just got that big fella off. I've got my bucket just behind me, heap of grass in there. And this line here is going crazy, so we better get a hold of it before he rips my meat off. Because I literally brung three little bits of meat today. No traps. We're just going old fashioned stringing meat and oh, he feels like another good one. 
Well, this is a good sign. What I might do at a later date, I can see him. We got him. Another nice one, you beauty. Trucks buzzing past. And there was no need for the net with that fella, I don't think, because he wouldn't let go of the meat. Yes, you beauty. Another nice one. Look at that. That's what we're after. And I no longer threw that line in and it's actually moving again already. This one here is a little bit quiet. I've only just thrown it out though. I wonder what these trucks passing by are thinking. I doubt whether most of them can see me in here. So this is the number six off this line within about six minutes. And it feels like another decent yabby. Oh no, he's not huge, but we want a little bit of bait, so we'll keep him. I'll just put him straight in the bucket. He's not a huge yabby. It's an absolute perfect day today, it's really overcast. And it's not too hot, it's probably pushing 30, I'd say, probably 27, 28. And it's a little bit humid, but haven't got that belting sun absolutely belting down on you. And both of these lines are going off again. Probably going to get sick of hearing that. This line here is absolutely belting them out. Must be a bit of a hot spot, but there are a lot of sticks down there. And that's probably why there's a lot of yabbies sitting down there, I guess. The only trouble is they're getting caught underneath the sticks. I can feel that one's caught in a stick. You can see it there. I'll just have it scooped. Oh, I got him. And he's a big fella too. I didn't think I'd get him. He was caught under a stick. Oh, yes. Have a go at this fella. That's what we want. Look at him. That's what we're after. Pity he didn't have two claws like that. These lines are keep me busy, I tell you. It's just one after the other. I've literally been here probably 20 minutes or so. Got a dozen in the bucket. One really nice one. Massive big claw on him. He's going to be good eating. But what we might do, we might leave this spot. I really just wanted to check it out because it's, like I said, it's, I've driven over it a hundred times. Um, haven't really bothered to pull in here. It's nearly too easy. So we're going to pull these couple of lines up. And we will come back here at a later date and have a proper go. Uh, set the traps and I'll bring Josie out maybe and set a few lines along here because the bank's a really good clear bank here. What we will do, we'll go up through them culverts at a later date and we'll set some traps up on the other side of the highway. Because that hole up on the other side of the highway is actually probably a better hole or a bigger hole. Now we're going to head out to a much, much bigger hole where there is fish and we're going to use a few of these small yabbies and see if we can't catch a fish and cook our few big ones that we've got there up. So I've made it down to this other hole and it did actually rain on the way. i would come down here and it's just sprinkling a little bit. It's slowed right down now. I'll give you a look at this hole. I've got the rod in already. I put the rod in when I first got here which was literally probably 15 minutes ago. Um, I think that shower is going to pass pretty quick. I have had a hit on it, but it was only very small, so hopefully it's not spangled perch. Ooh, that was a that was another good hit actually. Now is that fish still hanging around there? He is. There was one right there. Oh, and he's come back. He's got the bait now, I think. He's got it now, yes. Oh yeah, not a bad fish either. I knew he'd take the bait eventually. Peel on that tail off certainly made the difference. There we go. I knew we'd get one if we mucked around here enough. Get him up the bank. We'll tip these yabbies out and see which ones are the unlucky ones that are gonna get eaten by me. I'd say the other ones will probably get eaten by a fish anyway. Well, hopefully, probably not. Now, here we go. This is literally 10 minutes worth. 
I was probably down at that spot for no longer than 20 minutes at the very, very most. And we've got some nice ones. That one there's going on the Barbie. Oh, that one there's going on the Barbie. Just having a look at what we've got here. I probably should have had another bucket ready. They're all getting away on me. I don't want these ones to get away because I only kept a few. I'll actually be a bit smarter now. I've got another bucket. <laughs> I should have had another bucket ready from the start. Are these smaller ones? That fella there can go on the barbie. There's a couple in here that I threw in here. That I want to keep for bait. Throw them down there in that water. Oh, that smells nice, I can tell you. This rain's coming in a bit heavy again now. Well, I reckon they're nearly done to me. I'll give them a little while to cool down. Oh, look at that. Seared to perfection. We'll give him a taste test and see how he goes. Oh, Bill. Look at that. I bite it in half so you can see the other half. Oh, absolutely lovely, that claw meat. And that big nipper is the size of a tail. Oh, that is absolutely lovely, that claw meat. I'd like a couple hundred of them. Give these little tails a crack. And that is cooked to perfection. That's how I like them done. Really well done. Really well seasoned. Mmm. Tastes bloody beautiful too. This is the tail of the big fella. We'll have a crack at him. This rod's still going off. Only a little bite, so. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now, that was a bite. Sorry about that. I nearly dropped the camera, but something just whacked the hell out of that then. That ain't no spangled perch. Nelly bent the rod clean in half. I knew that had happened. As soon as I start feeding me face, that rod nearly just bent clean in half then. And that rain's really starting to come in now. And it's a bit of a pity because I'm just starting to see a few good fish along the edges. But I know I can come back here, have a bit of a crack. We can have some fun catching some carp. So it's a couple of days later. And I've actually decided to come out and throw the traps in. I was going to bring Josie here, but she's at school. And the reason is I'm going to give you a look. As you can see, this is where I was sitting with the line first line the other day and look how much it's dried up already and the problem is we've got heat wave conditions coming 40 plus degree temperatures for a good solid week it hasn't even hit yet and this is starting to dry up rapidly and Josie's got commitments on the weekend so she's probably going to miss out on this place until it rains again but what we're going to do we're going to throw the traps in and trap number one I reckon we'll just put down in this little narrow bit where it's starting to dry up really badly see how deep it is not terribly deep but probably deep enough i think we'll leave that there as you can see the trap's actually sticking out of the water a little bit but we'll just go with that and trap number two i've brought down and this is where i had the line that i was getting that i got them couple of really big monsters from but i reckon we'll try and put the trap over towards the middle of the hole a bit Perfect. And this hole over the other side is actually better looking than what I thought. It runs all the way up there. I reckon the first trap we just put right here, right beside the highway. See how deep it is. And that's fairly substantially deeper again that'd have to be a good three to four foot i reckon and trap number four i haven't come very far at all that other trap's only just there so probably i'm guessing probably five meters away and what i'll try and do is i'll try and flick it over about there somewhere i reckon so it's been a good hour probably hour 15 minutes we're going to have a check of these traps. Hopefully we've got a feed there. And I'm going to start down the end where I think it's least productive in this really shallow pool. So we'll get this first one in. I can see there's thousands of little fish hanging around on top of the water here. I'd say they're getting into the dog food. And I'm not... Oh, yeah. 
I wasn't holding a lot of hope for this one. It's actually done not too bad. I'm not going to keep them all. I'm just going to keep them couple of big fellas. That one there. Two. And that's a good sign. Little tiny one. So there you go, Karen. There is little tiny ones in here. Oh, that fella nearly got me. I'm going to keep a couple of these smaller ones because we're going to go and throw a line in. So this is the second trap, and this is the trap that I reckon's probably going to do all right. But I reckon them ones up there are probably going to do better. So we'll have a check. Never know until you try it. Well, you never know until you try. There's only three yabbies in there. And that just goes to prove you never know until you have a go. I would have bet all the money in the world that that first trap would have done worse than the second trap. I would have thought that second trap would have been loaded. There's only three yabbies in there. This is trap number three, and this is the one that I really reckon is going to do all right. It's right beside all this concrete barrier, which I've always done well at. But you never know until you try. No, nah, not really. Only another three. We'll see how this trap went. Oh, this trap's a lot better. I can feel the weight in this one. Oh, yes. Well, I found where they were, for sure. There's some absolute beauties in there. I'm going to keep them two. Keep them two. And I reckon the rest of these will just let go. Lucky that last trap saved the day. <laughs> we would have been cutting it pretty slim if that last trap didn't have a good amount of yabbies in it. And I reckon that bigger hole is going to be well worth going back to. It's just that it's going to be, it's a little bit tricky to get to. You sort of got to cross the highway to get to the other side of that hole to get along the clear side. So, which we may do one day. It's fairly deep. So I think it'll survive a bit of time without some rain. But anyway, I'm going to show you where I am now. Absolute magic spot. This is where we are now. I know this hole has good yellow belly in it. Whether they're biting or not, and it this hole is bloody deep. I'm not too sure how deep exactly. I've never seen it dry. I don't know whether you can make this out here. We've got a zip line tied up into the tree up here, going all the way across over, tied onto that tree right there. And there's a little monkey bar thing where they pull it with a pulley. They pull it up here and go down and land in the water. And I've got the rod in right there with one of them little yabbies on it already. So we'll have to keep our ears out for the bells. These are going to be absolutely delicious today. You just wait and see what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to have to thank Jamie um, over there in the USA. Thanks for suggesting it. Really appreciate all your um, positive comments. And I'd like to thank everyone while I'm going. Robbie, Robbie's Fishing, Nathan at Outback Fishing. Uh, who we got? We've got Ken. Karen, Matthew, Bobby, Paul, Wombat, Glenn, Mitch, Rainbow. I'd like to thank you all. Um, I've got another one, L214, L-A-U-S. Whoever you are, thanks. <laughs> Bit of an odd name, but anyway, you always comment and positive comments and I really appreciate it. And I'm sure I've missed a lot of other people. I'd like to thank you all. You are all appreciated. But anyway, I'm going to give you a little bloody look at what we're doing today. We've got some onion here cooking down. I want to cook it down first before I do anything. So what I've got in here is a mixture of butter, garlic and crushed chilli. And what I'm going to do... I've just let this onion cool down a little bit. And I'm going to mix it in there as well. And I don't know whether you'd believe it or not, but I didn't bring a bloody fork or a spoon or anything. So we'll just mix that up. That's actually working well. So what I've done, 
I've got a really generous amount of that mixture with the onion, chili, garlic, butter, and pile it up onto each yabby. And I'm going to let that sit there and I'm going to let that melt down for a good five minutes, I reckon. Holy dooly, we've got something. You little beauty. I was just bringing that in because I got a massive bite and I, oh, you, you beauty. You know what's going to happen to him. If I can get him. You little ripper. Oh, halfway through cleaning that perch. That rod just peeled over again. Oh, there. I've got him. And he's a better fish, this one. Oh, he's taking line on me. Oh, yes, he's a good fish. Sorry about the camera. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, dirty big carb. Check him out. I do have my net ready. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Oh, just spat the hook on me. Oh, dear. I had my hands all covered in blood and guts from that spangled birch. I was halfway through a clean that I seen me rod bending over and I wasn't too worried about getting him up. <laughs> well, that was a bit of excitement. Halfway through cleaning that spangled perch, I heard that bell and looked over and that rod's bent in half again. So our little spangled perch, he's a little bit late to the party, but he's a welcome visitor. We're not going to refuse him entry. Oh, and I've really lathered that little spangly up in that secret sauce. And that is cooked absolutely perfectly. I've got some raspberries and blackberries there on the side for a bit of freshness. I reckon you don't get much better than that. We'll have a go at the Abbey first. And this is one of the bigger ones. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> don't get much better than that. Little blueberry. Mmm. Adds a nice bit of freshness. A nice big chunk of our spangled perch. Mm. That just melts in your mouth. That spangled perch is cooked absolutely perfectly. And there's literally hundreds of them down there. Right at the edge of the bank. I could sit there catching them all day if I wanted to. That fella there was actually an accident. I was trying to reel it in quick to get past him. And he jumped on the hook, so. Anyway, we'll leave it there for a video. Thanks everyone for the positive comments. Now, we'll catch you on the next one.